All right, I promised I'd do a ride around Topaz and stir you guys around. So yeah, we're here at the lake and we're gonna have a little fun. And it's gonna be a little interesting riding because I don't have my normal riding shoes. I'm wearing my boots right now, which have way better support, but I can't feel shit through them. So yeah, it'll be fun. We'll see how this does riding in the sand. It's my first time actually riding in sand. It's weird. It's gonna do way better than this. These tires are too narrow. We should have brought my bike. Ooh, this is a challenge. It's nice and hard pack over here, so that's not too bad, but riding in the soft stuff is, uh, yeah. Let's ride down to the water. Oh my god, I am sinking in some of this. That's crazy. I'll be back! Holy hell. This is hard. Dairy water. Not gonna ride into the water. I don't want to wreck my one wheel. Now let's see if I can ride back up in this soft sand and rock. There we go. Oh, there we go. Now I'm getting some traction. Found a soft spot. Oh, the damn thing buried itself. I just gotta walk it over there to a spot where it's a little more hard pack. Because I can ride on the hard pack pretty easy. This soft stuff is rough. There we go. Once I get some traction and I get a little speed, it's not as bad. But getting that initial speed is kind of tough. All right, where's a good spot for me to cross up? Cause that's all soft up there. I think up here. There we go. Yeah, too soft. I dug myself into a hole. Just moving right over here to where it's hard. Oh, there we go. This is much easier. I see this is hard pack. A little bumpy so I gotta be careful I don't get bounced off the board but he's not too bad oh shit there we go bounce bounce now which way did she go I think she went this way I don't see her that way Very bumpy, very shaky. Dirt roads, much fun. Oh, 
trying not to fall off. Meow, meow. Right? <laughs> Stability of two wheels versus one. Technically my board is faster than her bike, but I can't go much faster than this because of the rocks and the dirt and the bouncing and trying not to get thrown from the board. Whereas she can just do 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 do. Balls are getting shaken out of my skull. Uh, off the board sorry every time you guys see me look down I'm checking to make sure my feet aren't getting bounced off the board and I'm staying somewhat in the middle of the footpad what huh rattlesnakes in the area oh joy yeah oh joy don't get bit That's because you were small. You want to keep going down this way and see what's going on down here? Or do you want to head back? It's more uphill. Well, you've got power. Not really. You have it on low setting. How do I turn it up? So, this control box, there's a mode button, okay. low, medium, and high. Okay. You gotta get it started on your own, but once you get it started, okay, you might want to point short. it downhill down. and then turn around and come uphill. Ow! <sighs> I should have packed my vans and I didn't. Don't fall over. Uh, oh, that's much easier. <laughs> oh, that's much easier. Now I gotta chase her uphill. bucket or a rain ditch gully whatever pocket created by rain ah bullshit oh, Oh, 
There's a little road over there. What is that? That's a stick. Oh, she's taking the little side road. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Alright, cut through the rocks. Don't fall off. And rough. This is a nice little landing. Got a nice view of the water. Wouldn't camp up here because fuck putting a tent down in this, but if I had a little pop-up trailer, it wouldn't be bad. Yeah. I wouldn't want to be out here sleeping on the ground knowing that there's rattlers out here. Right? Yeah. Looks like that road we were on going for a goes around down into there's this. trails now that over here. I can see trails all over the Yeah. So a lot of them have no trespassing signs on them though. So because they don't want people on ATVs trailblazing. Sure. Yeah. Which I can't blame them. I'm specifically doing my best not to trailblaze either. But it's a cute little lake. Yeah. I've never camped here before today. I've always just like driven through it on road trips. You really don't want to drive through the lake. It's a little bad for your car. <laughs> Very funny. We always stop at the casino to eat. It's mediocre. Yeah. Yeah. It's casino food in the middle of nowhere. What yeah, do you expect? You're not getting five star service. <laughs> but that's okay. You're not here for the five star service. I'm so yeah, used to riding, I can't freaking walk. walk. Really so it's going to be a lot easier to me. Oh, don't forget to turn the power down. Yeah, I know. Thanks for showing me how to use it. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't figure it out. I, I'm stoned. Give, give me a break. Eh. Eh. <laughs> no breaks. No breaks. No breaks. Oh, all right. Let's head back to the campsite. Help the girls uh, blow up the kayaks. Yeah, let's do it. Some kayaking. Kayaking. I actually have a prize for that. As long as we don't have no fucking asshole boats. Oh well. Up in our faces. Well, asshole boats are normal. waves. What not? Eh. Um, it's a kayak. It's gonna be an interesting experience nonetheless. I know. Bye. Bye. Don't worry, she'll catch up. Ooh. Pick. See, she's already caught up. So, due to the GoPro effect, what you guys are seeing is a disembodiment floating about seven-ish feet up in the air. What you don't see is the rifting and cutting and stuff that I'm doing on this normally. And the, the bend in my knees so that I don't get thrown off. Yes, there's a lot of wind, but yeah. And I actually did the math the other day. Because I have this set up on my helmet, the GoPro is about seven feet up in the air. I gotta talk to the people on the camera. Otherwise, they're just watching me float along into nothingness and eat shit periodically. But just don't get me wrong, that's amusing in its own right. Ooh, ah, ooh. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Don't get thrown from the board.
Hey, I'm not going down that way. <laughs> Thanks, Pino. Watch out, roads. See, even she has, even she's having fun with it. And by fun, I mean not. And we have the porta potties. Bing, 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 bing. Hey, nice shot, bud. I am so happy I put a tread tire on this thing. This would be hell on a gummy. of you are wondering the bike she's riding is a electric assist bike so it's not an actual electric bike it doesn't have its own you know you don't just hit a button and go um, it does have a motor on it but it only applies the motor when you pedal so it helps you pedal and it makes pedaling easier but you still got to do some work on it pretty cool bike though yourself too hard so a, a lot of people when they're riding with other people will actually push themselves harder than they can handle and it's fine to push yourself there's no I have no problem with people pushing themselves because then you're getting better but don't push yourself so much to the point where you get hurt you got to be careful about that especially when you're riding with friends their limits are not your limits. There's something important to remember. Having fun over here? What number are we? I have no idea. I have no idea either. We should have asked before we left. Whatever, let's take a tour. See the way. Woo! <laughs> so we got camping spots over there that leads to the boat ramp, and then a couple of camping spots over here. Uh, well, I'll keep an eye out for it. Right there, we're spot 15. Cool. You gonna stop there? All right, let me turn around. All right, I can dig it. Nifty. Hey guys. Ooh, campfire. Fire pits are nice. That means I get fuego. The fuego means I get hot dogs. Whoop. And that's a hole. Yeah. Move over here. Riding in sand, riding in soft sand is hard. So yes, this thing can be used on a beach, technically, but you have to be a decently good rider to do it. You ready to go back? I figure we'll go this way, come back around, and go back to the campsite. Make sure I'm not going to get run over, and boop, onto the pavement. Alright, cool, she's catching up. Ooh, and they got little gazebos. Gazebo. They got little parking spots over here for cars, and you got a gazebo here where you can just kind of chillax and have a, you know have a barbecue and enjoy some time with the fam. Oh, 
a pretty nifty little campground. Oh, somebody, some doggo lost their ball. Poor doggo. I will leave it there because the doggo will probably come back with their ball. Doggos are doggos are like that. And we got a little like dirt area with more uh, picnic tables and spots for barbecues and stuff like that. Day use. We got a little uphill bit, and we're in the RV camping area. Oh, this is nice. A little hookup, spot to set up. Oh, I got a water hookup too. That's nice. Doggo. Oh, he's such a doggo. He's such a good boy. Doggo, doggo, doggo. Oh, big doggos! Yay! Oh, there's another doggo over there. Yeah, see, that? doggo probably came came back and claimed his ball. And then we come around here, and we're back at the start. There's a cute little campground. Yeah, this is the Topaz campground. And of course, the area where we are, way over there over there is called the primitive campground and basically an area that's not quite set up like these campgrounds are so the, there's no fire because you, you're only allowed to have a fire here in a fire pit due to well issues with Cal with wildfires in california and nevada uh but that's all right you know i don't mind there's something nice about being away from being when you're going camping and being away from all of the other people it's like being in a campground is nice, but you got your, your neighbors right there and all that stuff. And if you're camping in an area like the primitive campground, you can be a little farther away from your neighbors, get a little more peace and quiet. Okay, we're back on the dirt road, trying not to die. Might slow down a little. There's a little spot right here and a little spot over here. Little road that goes up that way. I might explore that later. Ah, no, actually probably not. I'm gonna go kayaking later. I'm gonna be dead to the world. Come in right here. I go like this, and like this, and we're off all the rocks. And we come back in, and we're just at the truck. And perfect dismount. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. So yeah, that was the. Let me get you out of the sun. That was the. Uh, area around Topaz. That's only part of it. There's obviously it's a nice big lake, so there's all that. I'm just exploring around the campground. But yeah, uh, that was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.